Dr. Lorraine Minier, and I'm the Director of Nursing Education at Olivet College. And today, I have the opportunity to present a few of our nursing students and my colleague in a simulation that I hope will help you understand more about how to keep your heart healthy. What I'm here to talk to you specifically about is your heart okay. and some contributing factors to what brought you into the hospital. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yes. Do you remember what happened before you came into the hospital? What brought you here? Yeah. Oh, goodness, yes. Um, we were having a huge discussion. Didn't go well. Tried to walk off, and all of a sudden, I started feeling some pain in my chest. Some pain in your chest. Mm -hmm. So what did that pain in your chest feel like? Like a big pressure, like a big elephant was just sitting on my chest. I couldn't even breathe. And my role today is to talk to you about stress. That's one of the things that got me in here. I'm always stressed out. People tell me that when they make a list and they get to check something off, that is a stress reducing activity. So you have that list, you're not going to forget it. You're, you're a nursing student and you've been a nurse for several years, so you know how to prioritize. So you might evaluate those things, just like in life. Evaluate the things that are important and get rid of the things that aren't important. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Now every once in a while, if you wanted to have a treat, that's fine, that's understandable. But altogether, every day I would not eat those. I understand the caffeine, so maybe limit that to one cup per day. And then the rest of the time, I'd be drinking water. Water is great for your overall health and for your heart. Okay. At least a gallon is what we normally tell our patients. Mm -hmm. Something else that you can take when you get home and you have dinner is portion control. So instead of getting a big plate, I would get a smaller plate and just fill it up. You want to have your plate mostly veggies, greens are really good. and. Um, with things with vitamins and they're loaded with vitamins and minerals that your body needs to, in order to process everything. Okay. Um, I would limit your protein to a smaller portion. So instead of two pieces of chicken, maybe a half a breast. Instead of a steak, you could choose a chicken or a healthy fish. Salmon is really great in omegas, which okay. is good for your heart health. The important part is that it's doable and that you do it every day. If you make a huge goal like I'm going to run the Boston Marathon, that's too big. You're not going to be able to do that. You're going to get discouraged and not do it. So I want you to pick three things that you can do every day. You can walk up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Go for a walk with your wife. I bet she'd like the extra attention. <laughs> and another thing that is really simple and easy to do is to park further away from the store. Three simple little things to include exercise into your daily life. You're really going to find that that helps your heart a lot. I chose all of that because I received quite a bit of financial help. I think all of that really set me up well to succeed in the future. And so coming in, I appreciated all of that, appreciated the small feel, and I really wanted a place where I could compete and do well long term. I chose Olivet College because of the size. I knew coming here I wouldn't just be a number as when I shadowed at other colleges, there was probably like classes full of 300. And when I came here, I saw the size of the classrooms, I saw the one-on-one -on -one from the teachers, and with my major, I knew this college would be a perfect fit for me. 